Germany did both, not have. Both locations did not have. And this is Rachel. <laughs> and so we finally got the kitchen island and fit it in this car. <laughs> Barely. Like it's on the window on that side and on the window on that side. And we are now driving back to Germany. And we may have to exit soon. Do we? Maybe. Oh, Let me get over. There's Trier, there's Bitburg, and Trier again. What do you think? So. <laughs> but anyways, we had to go to Belgium and yeah, buddy. We figured since it's so close to Germany and Luxembourg and everything that people in Luxembourg and people in Belgium spoke German. They don't. They speak French. <laughs> and so we get into the border and, well, almost, because we saw like a structure and we thought it was like a toll booth or some kind of special tag you needed. And, um, freaked out and went to the exit and went around it somehow. Um. But it's just a border. Don't go to Luxembourg. <laughs> okay. And then, um, so the, all the signs are different names. Like we know what exit is in German and we know different words in German but not in French, so. Yeah. Maybe we should have went. It's been a fun here. trip. So we finally got our kitchen island that I've been wanting for forever and it is so beautiful and I love it and Darren is sanding it for me. This is oak. It's very nice. I love it. We built it last night after some hardships which included the screws were stripping on me and I had to MacGyver it to get them to screw in to the wood. I'm teaching her how to use the proper tools to do the job. Yep. Makes it a whole lot easier. What else did you teach me this morning? I drive my car. Yep. Yeah. I had to practice going from first gear to driving because I kept stalling it out. So we went over to this place. It's like a soccer field in our town. Um, it's next to the river that runs through the town. It's really pretty. So we went down there and it's like a like a dead end road. So we were able to practice over there. I'm getting pretty good. <laughs> Got to teach her how to stop on a hill now. That'll be fun. Because <laughs> Darren's tired of driving me around everywhere in the mornings. What's the good news about your car? My car has made it to Germany, not to our base, but it's made it on land in Germany. It didn't fall off the boat, which is great. The reason he's been having to drive me around everywhere is because for the bartending job I got at the club on base, um, you have to do all of this paperwork and clearances and background checks. So it's been like a good... What do you say, two weeks? Yeah. Two weeks since I found out I got the job and I still haven't started because I had to do a background check. Um, I had to type up an all new resume in their format. Um, I had to get references for all of my jobs and all of my residences. Um, I have to get fingerprinted. I had to get um, like blood work done. I had to get an eye test, a hearing test, a physical. I mean, all for just a bartending job. It's crazy what you have to do here. So, that's exciting. I'll finally get to not have to sit here all day while there is at work. Although once I learn how to drive this car, I won't have to anyways. Haha. <laughs> My car will be with me at all times. No, nah, I'll drop you off at work. Nope. You said I could. Nope. I get lunch breaks now that I'm in back shop. So I get to leave during work for up to two hours. We have an hour for PT and then an hour for lunch. So a two hour span where I'm not at work. Speaking work of hours. the breaks mm. that he gets, the other night I was just sitting in the kitchen, unloading the dishwasher, cooking some dinner, and I keep the house all locked up when he's gone, obviously, for safety. 
And so I'm sitting here over by the dishwasher and I hear a voice behind me and I jump out of my skin, y'all. I turn around Yo. and I jump and scream and I was terrified, but it was Darren coming to surprise me on his lunch break. <laughs> it was very thoughtful, but it scared the crap out of me. <laughs> I'm going to get ready for it. So bye everybody. Bye Darren. See you in the next vlog. We were supposed to have our internet set up Thursday, which was yesterday. We didn't get the letter. Um, we, we So we waited until today and we got a letter saying, hey, we're trying to figure out your technicality situation or whatever. Um, we'll get you set up when we can. And then we got the same letter today, even though Darren got a text saying that they had figured it out. So I don't know what's going on with the internet. Um, so we're trying to get it, I mean, hooked up soon, but who knows? I guess the people before us didn't cancel theirs, so that might be why. Anyways, I'm pulling this, the rollaways up, which are these things, almost like hurricane shutters, but not. You just roll them down, they're on every window. To show you the view from our kitchen, it's so pretty. Our little backyard and patio. It's actually sunny today, which is nice. So yeah, that's what's going on in our life. And uh, we'll catch, catch up with you later, <laughs> bye.